I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play IO. This is like a puzzle, like, well, it's a puzzle game, that's for sure. I'm not sure how to describe any other aspect, but that will become immediately apparent. So the main gimmick here is you're this little ball, and you can shrink and grow. Whee! Oh, a free review copy of this was provided by the developer. It is on Steam, not sure if any other platforms oops, are planned at this time, but uh, all right. It's got a pretty good tutorial system. The physics are not exactly intuitive, but then the game just explains them to you anyway, so that's fine. Okay, I don't think I want to get too big. Probably having way more trouble with this than I should. It's also got individual level like speed records, so if you wanna be a perfectionist, you can get all these silvers and golds and whatever metals. Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what it told me to do. Never mind. Whee! Slightly jerky movement there. Doesn't really matter. Like not movement, but like the Refresh, like, is this really 60? Hmm. Keep rolling left. Oh, I see. So, uh, the physics have some interesting... Blarg. There's some interesting implications of your ability to shrink and grow. I'm not entirely sure how accurate the physics are, because, like... We're violating all sorts of, like, physical laws by being able to just shrink and grow, but, uh, that's fine. Hmm. I'm playing this with the controller, so not- oops. There we are. Not entirely sure how well the keyboard controls hold up. Honestly, I usually never even bother with the keyboard controls if there's proper controller support and it's not like a first-person shooter or RTS, you know, something that where the really benefits from the mouse. I like mouse controls, I don't like keyboard controls. That's why like I'm interested in those keypad things. I never really got one. I've heard they have bad analog sticks. Like that's one of the more common things about the reviews and like that's the part of them that I want the most. So that's kind of Pretty big deal breaker. Ah, I see. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah, yeah there you go. We're not gonna be setting any speed records, but I'm sure you get the point. I really like the idea of what's going on here. I'm just not. Whoop. What was that? Elevators now. You get like a speed boost when you shrink, but then it wears off. It's The physics definitely takes some getting used to, but that's like the entire point of the game. Alright. Am I supposed to be on that? I think I'm supposed to be on that, yes. Oh, I pushed the gear into the lava. Well, the red stuff, but you know, it's it's lava. We'll call it lava. Physics! Isn't that right, Parker? Yeah, Parker is sitting on the desk. That's another reason I don't tend to do mouse and keyboard, because... Parker loves to sit on my desk when I do these, and he tends to sit right in front of the keyboard and mouse. We got achievements! Yay! Uh, oh, I screwed that up. Is there a one button reset? Okay, there's a two button reset. That's acceptable. I shouldn't have done that. I always appreciate fast resets in games like this. Okay, how do I do it? Okay, it's circle to enter the menu for some reason. Control direction. I really like how they managed to have, you know, guided tutorials without stupid pop-ups. Like, it's dynamic and, you know, to the second. Just as I say that, they kill the tutorials, but that's fine. But like, eh? Well, okay then. But like, they managed to guide you with text without, you know, making you click through it. Which... 
Ta-da! Oops. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I know I need to hurry. Yeah, that's one thing I've never liked about tutorials is that they're hard to, like, when they're hard to skip. Like, they require tons of mashing. Oh, I see. Because that just breaks the flow, but when it's something like this, you can just play the tutorial levels like completely normal levels. Was this the, like the demo that I just played through? Like it's called Trial Pack. I've. I guess I'll have to see if there's an actual demo. Maybe you can actually try it out yourself. That would be cool. Wow. I'm really good at this game. Wait. Hmm. Um. Is that a share button? Or no, that's back to the menu. <laughs> Icons. Alright, let's go to something that's not a tutorial. That's weird. Why is the trial pack and the level pack one also a tutorial? I just figured the trial pack was the tutorial stuff. Ooh, new game mechanics. So let's check this out. That's odd. I guess the trial, we weren't meant to play the trial pack if we had the real version. Oh well. We did anyway. Take that. Actually, there was another game that recently did that. Um, Futuridium EP Deluxe has like this demo version. Um, I think it was like, it must have been a conference demo. Hey! It's that exact same level we just did. Whatever, it's not that long. But yeah, it had a demo from like some conference or something, and it was completely original. Well, not completely, but there were basically special remixes of levels that are in different versions of the game, and it was pretty cool to be able to try that out because, you know, it's more of the game, even though it's, you know, not entirely original. See, it's a nice little bonus if they change stuff like that. And I love being able to see different moments in a game's development. Oh boy. What is... Hmm. What's your gimmick here? Oh. I gotta shove it. Yeah, like, cutting room floor. I'm sure I've said this several times, but I love stuff like the cutting room floor, which shows, like, different stages of a game's development. I think I did this backwards or something. Wait, no. That's... There we go. And this control is really great with gamepad, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh no! 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 Help! Okay. That's. It's not how you speed run. Whatever. We're fine. The left stick moves you, the right stick grows you and shrinks you. And those are the only buttons you need unless you want to pause and restart. And it works out really well. Very simple and pretty intuitive considering it's not. Well, I'm not sure I want to say intuitive. But you get used to it extremely quickly, even though it's like really not something you would technically be familiar with. Because it's like, it's all its own weird physics because, you know, the grow mechanic. I haven't really played too many other... Well, I've definitely played other games where you have a growing mechanic, but not quite like this. So what do I do here? I also like that you can sort of grow up to see all the... There we are. Don't fall in. To the, uh, no! What did I do? I've soiled it. Soiled it! Oh well. I think I had the right idea there. I might be stupid. I'm stupid sometimes. It happens. Nothing to be ashamed of. Let's get up that thing. This is one of those times when I'm being stupid, I'm sure. Hmm. I can't go up wall. Uh, let's go to the next one. I like that we can skip levels. It's the same. It's another one from the trial pack. Here's something new. That's weird. I'm sorry, I didn't realize the trial pack was like its own weird little thing. 
They were just the first levels, so I'm like, hey, I'll play those. Ah, crap. Alright, alright, alright. We can do this. We can do this. We are physically capable of doing this. I see what's going on here. Interesting gank, but not really too hard, like... I've definitely seen, like, on rails. It's basically an auto-scroller that's not, like, traditional. Oop! Don't squish me. Don't squish me, bro! Man, the shrinking and growing mechanic is so smooth, I love that. It's not like big jumps, it's like this pixel by pixel beautiful gloriousness. Uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need to fall into this one. Not like that, but oh! Never mind. Whatever! Also, you can grow so you hit the thing earlier. That's something I should probably be doing more. Ah. Pfft. Okay. There we are. Is that a gold? That was pretty quick. So I do say so myself. Yay! Alright. I guess this is probably enough to see the... Oh. That's not how you do it. Shrink. Wee. No. Hmm. Maybe I need to be bigger before I fall. Hmm. Actually, that's an idea. That is an idea. <coughs> okay, that's not an idea. That is an anti-idea. Hmm. We'll figure out this one, and then we'll call it quits, because we've pretty much seen, you know, what the tricks... Wow. It's got good death zones. I like when... Aww. Now we're thinking with portals. Sorry, that's a terribly obvious joke, but... This is like exactly what you do in certain puzzles in Portal. Wait. There we are. So yeah, there's definitely some interesting possibilities for this. Oh right, red is death. Yeah, I did want to mention, like, I like that you die pretty quickly when you fall out, because some games will let you fall way too far. I like, I really appreciate a quick restart. I should probably be small for this, shouldn't I? Yeah, a quick restart and, like, killing you quickly is a really big plus for, you know, speedrunny sort of games like this, where you want to retry the same level, like, several times to get it right. Or just complete it in the first place. I really don't like too much fluff. So it's really nice when a game is like this and you know realizes that it can be really frustrating if you have to wait a long time to die or reset. Oh hey, that was the last one. Alright, so this is IO. As always, there'll be a link to the Steam page in the description. We've got some music, languages, controls. Ah, I don't think I would be as big a fan of the keyboard controls, frankly. It works really nice with double stick, but I guess with just WASD and arrow keys, that would be. Hmm. Oh, we got some languages too. Ah! Alright, let's just keep that on English. Let's take like a look at the credit, Shelly Parker. Yes. Yes. Who's a kitty? You're a kitty. Yes. Yes. It's kind of jumpy scrolling, isn't it? Ah, it's Unity. Of course it's Unity. I saw the Unity configurator. I don't mind Unity, but the configuration tool is like one of its biggest problems in my opinion. It has some major issues, like it basically prevents you from being properly um, gamepad supported on PC because I don't think it supports gamepad in its of itself and it you know is not an immediate full screen experience either way and it also doesn't support 
mouse buttons beyond like mouse 2 or mouse 3. Like I've got a multi-button mouse and it doesn't support all my crap, but I'm not sure if Unity 5 fixes any of these woes, but uh, that is my current biggest problem with Unity, frankly, is that the configuration tool kind of sucks.